Hi, this is Robin Reamer, and you're watching Feed My People Joy. And today I want to go over something that got opened my eyes about a couple months ago, and I just kind of re-saw it again and wanted to share it with you, because it's such a interesting revelation. It's in Genesis 1. It kind of is the foundation for thinking in all different, in, in every different area of the Word. Um, Genesis 1, um, let's see, first... <clears throat> Excuse me, first of Genesis 1 11, it says, Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, an herb that yields seed, and the fruit of the tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. Okay, then let's go to Genesis 1 29, which says, And God said, <clears throat> See, I have given you. Every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree which, which, whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be for food. In other words, that's how they lived. They didn't go to work eight hours a day and have a job and get paid and then go buy food. God provided their food, and the food was in the seed of the tree. Okay, so that... Let's go back here. I mean, let's go forward here a little bit more to Genesis 2, 8. It says, Then God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and he put the man with whom he, whom he had formed out of the ground. And the Lord made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life was also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge and of good and evil. Okay, then go over here to Genesis <clears throat> Three, um, six. Uh, okay, then. Okay, well, anyway, three, four, five, and six is the serpent, uh, the devil using a serpent's body, um, tempting Adam and Eve to sin. He says that they won't die if they eat the fruit from the tree; that their eyes will be open and they'll be like God, knowing good and evil. They were already like God, created in His image. Uh, so. What I want to share with you about that is the curses, okay, um, the result of that is everything was cursed. Now, a lot of people think that because of that, God cursed man, God cursed uh, the snake, and God cursed. No, God didn't curse them. The result of eating the tree was the curse of knowing good and evil. Because the seed is in itself. So if you if you take a peach and the seed inside the peach produces more of its kind, a peach tree, which produces more peaches, which produces more seeds. So it produces after its kind. It can only produce what it is. And Adam and Eve took from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So therefore... The fruit they ate was the fruit of knowledge and good and evil. So they then experienced the knowledge of good and evil. It wasn't that God said, Ah, you were a bad boy. I'm cursing the ground. You're going to have to work for everything now. You're going to have to toil. I'm not going to provide for you anymore. That's it. You, you messed up. No, that's not how it was. It was like God said, don't eat off of this tree, because if you eat out of this, off of this tree, you're going to have to do it all yourself. You're going to become your own God. You're going to have to work and toil 40 days, 40 hours a week, or wait all day long to get your food. You're going to have to work and toil. You're going to be your own God. Provide for your own self. I can't be your God no more, because you're going to have the knowledge. You're going to experience good and evil. Okay? So the result of eating from that tree was experiencing good and evil knowing, experiencing. So, God didn't curse the ground. and God didn't curse man. God said the result of that tree produces after its own kind. So, it produced, this is what that tree produced. It produced um, that the ground now is cursed for because of them. In toil, they'll eat from it. It'll bring thorns and thistles, and they'll live by the sweat of their face. The sweat, the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread. And that's... Um, Genesis um, 3, um, 17, 18, 19, right in there. So, what I want to share with you is the, the fruit 
of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil became our lifestyles. Now we know good and evil, and we had good, now we have evil. We have to work for everything. We are our own God. We have to work for everything. Now the God system is seed time and harvest. Instead of working for our survival, we work, but we take our seed and we plant it in someone else's life. And that brings the harvest back to us. That's God's method of doing things. Not experiencing it and becoming your own God. So I thought that was really exciting. That was really a neat revelation. Um, remember, just a little tidbit here that I heard Joseph Prince say today that just really got me, or I read in his daily devotional thing today that really got me excited. He said, remember, people exercise and eat right because they want to stay fit and healthy. But Remember, the earth is under the curse. That the food that you eat, and even exercising your body, is not going to produce the same harvest as the Word of God. So I decided I'm just going to continue to eat right and exercise, but my focus is going to be on communion and taking part of His body and His blood and um, taking communion and understanding it and putting my faith in in the Word of God and the, my confession of what His Word says about me and communion rather than putting my trust in my exercise and eating right because after all how can I ever eat right enough to have a healthy body because the earth all of the vegetation fell on the earth just like the animal kingdom fell and man fell when man fell so anyway that's my little exciting bit of information for today. My name is Robin Bremer and you're watching um, Feed My People Joy and you can get more information, my podcasts on Robin Bremer, R-O-B-I-N Bremer, B-R-E-M-E-R dot net, dot net. <laughs> um, and that's uh, my website and there's hundreds of things to watch, hours and hours of teaching and uh, about the goodness of God and what he's done for you. So I'm Robin Bremer and I'm out.